watering? When do you water? How do you water? What time do you water? It can be very confusing, but it's one of the most important things in the garden. So let's make it easy. This right here is the most important tool when it comes to watering. Your finger, it's called the finger touch method. It's an old tried and true gardener method of taking your finger, putting it into the soil, putting a little bit deeper into the soil and feel. With that finger, if you feel some moisture, guess what, you don't have to water. If it feels dry and some of the plants in the garden appear to be dry, that's when you have to water. Another tip when it comes to watering is we want to really keep the water off the foliage and try to focus on the roots. The reason for that, it makes the plants healthier, minimizes disease and insects, and some more efficient use of the water. One of the best water that you can use is the water that you can collect, rainwater. It just makes good sense, and as well, plants love it. When it comes to watering devices, there's of course hoses, and then there's also watering cans, but I also want to talk to you about something that's really good. This here, you can see how it feels a little different, looks a little different, it's called the soaker hose. It sweats in the garden as you're watering, a nice slow watering, a nice deep and frequent watering. So this here, perfect to keep it off the foliage and to water right. This over here is a drip irrigation system. What you do is you're just gonna go over to buy the plant, stick it right into the soil. You're gonna connect this to your water source and that's gonna be a nice, efficient use of watering right down to the roots, keeping water and moisture off the foliage. So when it comes to watering, it's all about the equipment sometimes and soaker hoses, drip irrigation, thumbs up.